Hello, my name is Chandra and this is how I do food. Today I am making sweet pickles. I planted, I don't know, 20 or 30. I just had the kids throwing in cucumber seeds and I did thin them, but not very aggressively. So I, I do have at least 20 cucumber plants. So this is not the first time I'm making pickles, but it is the first time I'm making sweet pickles. I made dill pickles before. Uh, I didn't really enjoy it. I was feeling really upset with myself for planting so much, but this time I did enjoy it and it went really well. Every jar sealed, that's always satisfying. Uh, so I'm cutting up a bunch of cucumbers and when I went in for the onions, I found uh, the kale that I had prepped and gotten ready to make kale chips. So I'm gonna quick do that. And if you wanna see my kale chips recipe, I will link my previous video below. And then I'm gonna get back to chopping onions for these sweet pickles. bunch of salt and I will fill this up with water and let these cucumbers and onions sit for a couple of hours. Uh, I imagine this draws some of the moisture out and maybe helps with crispness of the resulting pickles. This big pot I have sugar dissolving in straight vinegar there's no water in this recipe uh, I just added some mustard seeds oh we got some people peeking in and I will also add turmeric I'll put the recipe book that I used down below with the title of the recipe for these pickles it's the ball complete book of canning here's some celery seed This sugar, water, and spices mixture has come to a boil, so I'm going to add these cucumbers and then bring it back to a boil. Um, since this is going to be hot, I have my canning jars in the canner heating up as well, so that everything will be pretty close to the same temperature and glass won't be breaking. using a chopstick here to get any bubbles out and then I will take the liquid from the pot and fill these up to half an inch from the rim. This was a total sticky mess so I'm taking some vinegar on a paper towel and I'm going to clean these rims so I can get a really good seal in the water bath. Thank you. 
This is my pressure canner, but I'm just using it as a water bath canner. I won't seal the lid. I'll just place it on to keep the water at a good boil, but I won't seal it. So it will not be pressure canning these pickles. Here come the first round of pickles out of the canner. And I had to do a second round. I only had, I think, two or three, and one of them was a half pint jar of pickles left. And I did have liquid left, the sugar, water, spices mixture. And I thought since I was gonna be running the canner again, I would put those, that liquid into a couple of jars. And I thought I could use that as a marinade, like instead of barbecue sauce, if I'm doing pulled pork in the slow cooker or something like that. So I thought it wasn't gonna hurt anything to can it up. And if I don't use it, I didn't waste any time or money on it because I was running the canner anyway. Thank you. 